Stimmy finally came where the PS5's at. 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 Stimmy finally came Uh, abstract brain waves, game genie in the beanie Wean on the same stage, leveled up uh, the... Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video And we got another unboxing Now, first and foremost, I want to shout out to Rakama Tech Yeah, I'll show him some love uh, He's got a nice little setup here You can't see everything, but he's got some extra lighting and things like that That he's brought to this video It's been a long time coming for another collab But also for this video in itself so yeah, you guessed it. By the intro, your boy got a PS5. Now I know some of y'all probably have one already. Some of y'all are still waiting for one. It may not be that big of a deal, but I thought I'd still make the video because I had to jump through hoops just to get it. Now a little backstory. Y'all know this came out November last year, 2020. One of the things people were actually looking forward to in 2020, uh, along with that Xbox Series X when it comes to console gaming. That being said, it wasn't easy to find. If y'all remember back in the day, some of y'all older heads, the Nintendo 64 you could not find on launch. There was a limited shipment, there was a shortage, and you had to wait till next year a few months into it just to get one. Remember, I cut so many lawns just to get that Mario 64, and believe you me, years later, as I grew up, I started seeing 64s in the wild for nothing, yard sales, and that's what happens to all technology, whether it's your your cell phone, a computer, whatever. So PS5, no different, right? Why the rush now? Well, I think a lot of people are at home. They've, you know, been stuck in quarantine. They've, you know, had nowhere to be. And so having a new system was, you know, a, a, another piece of entertainment. And a lot of us have been trying to keep up with the Joneses. So some of y'all, you may or may not have pay twice what this thing's worth. Go on eBay and you can see these things for a thousand dollars, people trying to flip them that way. It's ridiculous, so I wasn't no part of that. And it fell into my lap where the price I wanted to pay for the console is what I ended up getting it for. Now, be warned, if you're trying to get a system and not trying to pay scalpers, you may have to take this route. And that is get with the group who is in the know of when these things drop, because oftentimes you'll go on GameStop's website or Walmart, and as soon as you get a notification that some of this stuff is available, it's already gone. It's already gone. And that's what happened to me. I tried to use the app and couldn't find the console. Meanwhile, everybody else is on there. Boom, boom, boom. You refresh the page and they're gone. So again, shout out to Rakama Tech. We're gonna get into the unboxing now with all that out of the way. What ended up happening, I'm gonna tell my little story here while y'all look at the box. Okay, okay. so we're back with another view of the box itself, the package. And it was supposed to be about a couple weeks before this thing arrived, but uh, the way it worked out is this. Rakama Tech was able to look out for your boy. He got another system that he was going to uh, make an investment on and he decided to be nice and look out for your boy what happened was we had t5 tech who also hit me up and was like hey go to the website instead of course when i went to the website i looked for the actual console itself and that was not available i had to get the bundle but it was too late they were all sold out but at the last minute he said hey i got good news and bad news i got one of them in my cart all i need is your credit card information now, normally I wouldn't give that out, but I trusted him. And uh, I said, instead of giving credit card, how about we do PayPal? Right as I reached for my PayPal card, my cell phone died. But all was not lost. Again, Recommend Tech, shout out to Recommend Tech, looked out and provided me with this lovely system here. So it's already been open. So we're just gonna get right into the contents here. Now this bundle, it also comes with a second controller. It came with Miles Morales Spider-Man. And I believe it came with a GameStop gift card or something like that. I know there's other variations that include like, a, I'm not sure if it's a headset, but they might include PlayStation Plus, 
Yours might be different depending on where you got it. But this is the GameStop one. So inside is nice, lovely <laughs> little bubble wrap protection, if you will. Uh, we got here Spider-Man Miles Morales, and it is the Ultimate Edition. It is the Ultimate Edition that includes Marvel's remastered Spider-Man. So uh, I will be getting rid of Spider-Man on PS4, trading that in towards something else that I could take advantage of because uh, this is all included and it's just, it's gonna run better. I say that to say your PS4 games will play better on the 5, but if you've got something that's made for the 5, it's, you know, uh, less of a hassle to change discs, then that's what we're going for. Now, this game we'll get into a little bit later. I know it's a short game, at least the Miles Morales, but I haven't beaten Spider-Man, so I'm looking forward to playing that. Again, shout out to Recombi Tech, who's probably a little bit salty right now that he threw that in there for me for free. <clears throat> okay, so here's the bad boy. This thing... This thing weighs a lot. The human head is eight pounds. It's got an additional two pounds on it. Right there on the box, you can see it says 8K. We don't have any 8K systems out right now, but uh, hey, future proofing. So I know a lot of you collectors are out there. You know, you're like, hey, so you've got the four, you've got the three, the two, and the one. I'm probably getting rid of the four. Why? Unlike the three that I still have, the 4 doesn't do anything that the 5 can't, unless you're looking at the VR. You need a VR adapter, a camera adapter to play this. So uh, in the future, you may see some VR games, but uh, not until I get that adapter first. So be on the lookout for that. If you have a VR headset and you're thinking about getting the 5, do yourself a favor and go on Sony's website and order your adapter in lieu of getting the five or you'll end up like me, unable to use your headset until you get that adapter. No big deal, I wasn't trying to jump on any of those just yet, but it's a nice thing to know, especially if you don't know if your headset works. So let's actually get into it. It also says 4K 120 HDR. I'm excited about it. I don't like how it's gotta be vertical like this unless you sit on the side, but I'll show you more of what I'm talking about when we actually open the thing. So let's actually move this box out of the way since we're done with it and get right into the system itself. Uh, I've got a little screwdriver here I'm going to use to break the seal. Boom. Funny thing is a lot of people flipping have ruined the possibility of getting a return. Now, I can't say all GameStops do this, but mine specifically denied me the request of taking the bundle and returning the bundle to just get the system itself. That's what the plan was. But Common Tech was going to do me a solid and return everything and let me stand behind him in line and just get what I wanted, which was the actual system itself. You see this heavy box here. Oh my gosh, is it heavy. And it's got a 825 gig hard drive in at solid state. Now that doesn't sound like a lot because, well, it isn't, but, uh, you know, it should be one terabyte and it's proprietary, you know, system updates and software that eats up a lot of that. Fortunately or unfortunately right now for me, there isn't a lot of games that I want to play, but I do have a bunch of PS4 games that get that free update. So I'm looking forward to taking advantage of that and seeing how those look. So right here, they even included instructions on how to open it. You can't probably see that, but I'll try my best to show. They've got steps one, two, and three to carefully open this thing because you'll see in a second, this thing looks like it could pass for like some kind of router. <laughs> and uh, if you break the little side things there, it shouldn't be super expensive to replace, but why go through something you don't have to do? So the first thing you see in here if I can tilt it on its side here, is the power cable, which isn't in any kind of bubble wrap or anything. And it's the standard two-prong cable there that's been for all the PlayStation systems. So, good news. <laughs> if you've already got a PS1 laying around and you lose that cable, you should still be okay. Here is the sexy and sleek controller. Not in any kind of box or anything like that either. They didn't bother to put this in its own little box. It's just kind of sitting here. So, you know, no harm, no foul, less packaging, but um, 
they've got a bevy of manuals here, which is pretty neat. Now, Recoma Tech did disclose that you can still use your PS4 controller to power up your 5. So what we're probably going to be doing here is syncing my uh, controller here to my 5 because what I'm going to do is transfer all of my stuff over to the 5 and sell off my Pro. Yes, the Pro is a great system. I love it, but again, no need to keep that for me. I know some of you collectors would love to have it or say, just keep it, but the plan was to offset 550 bucks after taxes, sell the Pro for around 200 at a fair price, $350 net, I think that that's in the ballpark of which I was willing to spend to get into the next generation. I plan to do Xbox first, but here we are. So uh, we're going to open this next section here. And in here, this looks to be HDMI or no, it's not HDMI. It's the actual stand. If I can get my hand in here, this is more than likely the stand. So you can see here, that's unique. I wonder what you put in here. Is that for like the controller? Maybe you know since you have it. Clips onto the back of the console. Clips onto the back of it, okay. So some way, somehow, it's supposed to hold it in place, but we'll see. This also looks like you could lay it vertically on, or horizontally this way, doesn't it? Yep, that's what, that's what it's for. Okay, but you don't use it. So yeah, if you use it like that, you lay it. That's where you know you see those little vents on the back. Okay. Those little two clips that you see there, they they attach to the back of the vents. Okay, so we'll revisit that once we get this thing out of here and see. The next thing you have here is the HDMI. These are some big cables here. Now the question I need to know is: Are these HDMI 2.1? Are these spent more advanced than the regular HDMI? Because I've got a switcher. And uh, this may take up too much room fitting in there, but we'll see. It's not super important. So all of that is out of the way. But also they had hidden back here is a Type-C connection. So that, that would go onto the front. And more than likely, this is to charge your controllers, I'm betting. I'm betting you charge your controller with this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that now if I can and see if it's a necessary thing. Actually, I'm just going to put it to the side here and I'm getting ahead of myself and, and get that later. So you do have to take all this out, which is not a problem. You take all that out. And then you're left with the meat and potatoes inside here. And so, the meat, and by meat and potatoes, I mean the actual console itself. So, now, I didn't follow the instructions. They say not to pull it out that way, but, you know, I'm, I don't follow instructions too well. Unless I'm being paid to, which I guess you can argue in this case I am, but we'll just say I'm not. So, here is the system in here. This is it. And like a new pair of sneakers, it's got that all white, like it showed at the sides there so there it is you can see it in all its glory now it looks like it sits this way and not this way because <laughs> all the weight is this way so uh real quick you can see some vents on the side here nothing much there probably some kind of serial number something like that and it looks like i have it upside down it looks like they actually want it to be this way, which is weird to me because the DVD drive is at the bottom and not at the top like traditional consoles are. And you know it's supposed to be that way. Why? Because the PlayStation symbol is up here. So when you're looking at it, laying it flat, your drive is awkwardly there at the bottom. Now, thankfully, looking at the design, and we talked about this earlier when I was comparing his and how it looked, this plastic piece is just a cover for the drive itself. So if you break the plastic, it's not like you've broken the drive. This whole white plastic part can be replaced. So if you accidentally drop it and crush this, crack those, no biggie. You could probably order a third-party one online, even if Sony doesn't want you to. 
so that brings us back to this here. So he was saying part of this allows you to lay it on its side and clip onto the back of the system. Why? Because all the weight is on this side and not this side. Alternatively, I could stand this up, but I don't think it stand. Is it supposed to stand up like this on this? Yeah, that's all mine is. Okay, so well, he has his like this, so then... Except you you can tuck that... Actually, hold on. Yeah, you got to rotate that piece, the little clips, to the back. It rotates. No, I mean, you have to, like, physically rotate the stand itself. The little clips. So these move. Okay. Yeah, it rotates to the back. Okay. So what if you didn't want it on the back there? You would leave it where it was? I mean, it has to. It's attached to it, so it has to be on it. Well, so, so that's what I'm saying. If you were so, to lay it on its side like this, oops. If you were to lay it on its side like this, how does this stand serve any purpose? I don't think it does. It's upside down. I, I mean, that. I know that's the way you try to want. That's the way I want it to be. <laughs> we're gonna leave that in, by the way. Yeah, how does this, I don't think it, it serves its purpose like this. But yeah, I think it goes in the center. I haven't laid mine flat yet. So this is as far as it goes. So. But yeah, but it's, I believe it is supposed to be in that position the way it is. It only locks, it doesn't even go far the other way. And so. also if you want to have it vertical, there is a screw on the bottom of that base. It looks like it plugs in right there. Yeah, there's like a little rubber piece that you take off from the bottom of the of the uh -huh. console itself. And then on the base itself, if you flip the base over on the underside of it, there's a compartment for a screw. So you can screw the base to the console. Okay. So that looks like what we're going to be doing. That looks like the screw right there. Yeah, so you can take that screw out and you screw it into the, the console. And the console should have like a little rubber piece that you can just put in that compartment. So. Okay, so before we actually attempt to do that, we're gonna see if there is anything else in here and there is not. So that is the unboxing gang, this is the system. Before we wrap it up, I'm gonna show you the back of the system here. So I don't think I showed that. And you can see it's got two HDMI USB 3.0s there. I was somewhat disappointed that it only had two because we're used to these consoles that have at least three or four. And while it does have three, you do have one in the front, it's just a 2.0. My beef with that is, I feel like everything that's USB should be in the front of your system. Why do you guys have us reaching in the back every time? You know what I mean? Little kids want to touch cables and move stuff, they get unplugged or loose or something like that. It's a headache. Especially if you've got an entertainment center where all the cords are trying to be hidden. Put that stuff in the front. PS6, you need to have all the media stuff up front. I understand the camera and what have you, you may want those in the back. But if you guys aren't going to start giving out USB hubs, <laughs> start having that stuff up front. So here is uh, an adapter for your SSD. And it looks like... Uh, They'll be taking advantage of that soon. You have the eject button and power button here at the bottom. So what's gone here is the nice little touch that the uh, PS4 and 4 Pros had where you just rub your finger against something and boom, it lights up. I've got a lightning cable here, so that's, that's an indicator for, I think the system can charge as long as it's plugged in a device. It can get power as long as it's plugged in. So it doesn't even need to be on and you can charge your phone, kind of like my PC is not on, but it's charging my phone here. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. So, uh, they also have an HDMI in the back, no HDMI in or out, just one there, and an Ethernet port on the back here. We've got some nice little PlayStation symbols and what have you, but I think I covered everything. I'm doing some double checking. I think I covered everything. Again, there's that nice little rubber piece in the back that well, look at that. I've already taken it out. Nice little rubber piece, and we'll go ahead and put the screw in there and call it a day. So, uh, again, special thanks to Recoma Tech for making this possible by not only hooking me up so that I can get the system and just pay him out of pocket for it at cost and provide the game 
but also for helping record. So uh, appreciate that. You know, check out his channel when you can as well. Uh, the next go around, we're going to check out some of the games. So I'm not going to check out Miles Morales first. There's a bevy of PS4 games that I am interested in upgrading and see how they run. So we will check that out here shortly in the next one. Other yellow hat guys out. Captain Sensation!